All right, boys and girls, let's talk about how the periodic table is organized. There is a method to its madness. We promise that you'll be able to, to figure things out a little bit better after this video. So, ready to look at it? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, the periodic table is organized into... Oh, dear. Um, yeah, it's, it's the periodic table of Pokemon. It's fine. It's just Pokemon. Anyways, uh, here's the actual periodic table. I'm so embarrassed. Um... So the first thing we need to talk about is how it's organized. Uh, there actually is a name for the columns and a name mm -hmm. for the rows. Okay. Right? So the columns here, every single column is called a family. Okay, a family or a group. You may also see the word group. And they're organized by similar properties, chemical and physical properties. Right. So like in your family, you're similar to your siblings and your parents. So elements and families have similar properties. So the families or groups have similar uh, chemical and physical properties, just like Mendeleev and Mosley did with their original one. So, um, all right, so what about the rows here? What are these rows So we called? call the rows periods. Okay, so they're called periods. And remember that it goes across from left to right by increasing atomic number, so increasing number of protons. Okay, so increasing atomic number as we move left to right. Yep. So periods, families, or groups. Periods, families, or groups. That's it. Great. All right, now um, the other thing we want to talk about is there are three different types of elements overall. There's metals, there's non-metals, and then there's these things called metalloids. Which are kind of metals and non-metals. They're kind of a little bit of both, right? So mm -hmm. what we have to really pay attention to is this one thing called the staircase. Now if you can see there's a little dark line on the periodic table, but I'm going to make it even darker for you. And actually there is a dark line right here. We'll come back to why it is all the way over here as well. But we can go all the way along here. And that's where the periodic table is divided. That's yes. the dividing point. All right. Um, now, technically, these guys down here are on this side of that stair staircase, mm -hmm. just so you know. Um, so let's start with what is on the staircase, because that's a little bit easier to understand. So elements along the staircase are called metalloids. Okay, so that would be everything that the staircase touches except for... Aluminum. Except for aluminum. So these guys right here, we call these metalloids. And what's special about them? So they have properties of both metals and non-metals. Okay. Properties of metals and non-metals. So they can't be classified as one or the other. All right. Which, um, yeah, so we'll leave it at that for now. Yeah. Okay, so... Those are the metalloids, and then everything is going to be whatever is to the left of that and whatever is to the right of that. Exactly. So everything to the left, which is most of the periodic table, are metals. Metals. So everything to the left except for hydrogen. Yeah, and hydrogen, by the way, hydrogen is not a metalloid. No. Okay, so we'll say except for hydrogen and aluminum, those are not metalloids. But everything to the left here is a metal. And aluminum, if you think of aluminum foil, aluminum is a metal, and so, me metals conduct electricity really well. Right. So um, let, me, let me clear some of this out. This is getting confusing. So everything over here, these are all metals. Yep. And metals uh, are good conductors of electricity and heat. Yep. And that's pretty much it right there. Yeah, and they're usually shiny. Yeah, exactly. Uh, so what about everything that was not a metalloid that was over here? So the small area, those are the non-metals. Okay. And they are not good conductors. So it's either good conductors, not good conductors. And then the metalloids are in the middle. We call those semiconductors. Okay, so poor conductors, good conductors... Semiconductors. Exactly. All right. Uh, and remember, again, uh, hydrogen is included 
in the nonmetals, even though it's all the way over there. And you'll find out why it's all the way over there at some point. All right, that seems like it. Yep.